right. Last night about 11 o'clock, uh, Mount Pleasant had an armed robbery of, of a convenience store. And it was from a red Chevy Silverado truck. Mount Pleasant saw the vehicle and they started to follow it. I'm not exactly sure when, when or where, but a pursuit took place. Racine Sheriff was part of it. They notified us. Uh, one of our squads threw blue out, blowout strips for tires on the interstate and actually struck one of the tires, slowing it down. The, the pickup truck exited Highway C uh, off the interstate, headed west, and a pursuit still still uh, was, was ongoing. Mount Pleasant was the lead vehicle in this one. They chased it west, and it got down to Highway MB, and at the AAA Tent Masters, uh, it went, the suspect vehicle went into the parking lot and tried to turn around, and somehow got tangled up with the Mount Pleasant squad, and the two suspects that were inside the pickup truck took off running through the fields, and uh, we ended up uh, trying to do a reverse 911 in the area and for whatever reason we couldn't get it to work so our deputies and other law enforcement agents went door to door and warned the public that we're looking for two suspects about four o'clock in the morning uh, one of the people live along highway C that was warned that there was armed people in the area uh, heard his one of his doors being tried to get uh, entered and someone wanting, demanding to get in the house from what I've been told and uh, he actually went out there and confronted them. I think he, he attempted to fire a couple warning shots at, the, at one of the suspects and the suspect took off running. The about 7.30ish uh, this morning uh, there was calls for people on the interstate that saw someone riding a bicycle down the interstate on the, along the shoulder of the interstate. Uh, the state patrol and our squads went up there, took this one person in, into custody. He's currently at the hospital um, and we're still looking for the other suspect. We believe that both of them were black males. Uh, the one that's in custody is a 19 year old out of Illinois. He's got warrants for either homicide or attempted homicide out of Kane County, Illinois. And that's right in the area of where the pickup truck was that they stole, went up to Racine and uh, uh, we're still, like I said, actively searching. We've got, uh, through the course of the night, Antioch, Lake County, Zion, um, Racine Sheriff, the State Patrol, Pleasant Prairie Police Department, all assisted us in trying to locate uh, the suspects. So we're still down to one. We're getting reports of, of, uh, of sub suspects in the area. We do know that one of the suspects had black and red tennis shoes and one of those tennis shoes was got stuck, I think, in a, in a muddy area by a creek near where they, they crashed the car, crashed the pickup truck. So we're still asking for the public to, if you see somebody that uh, doesn't look like they belong there, I believe both are uh, younger black males. Uh, the one that we caught was 19, and the only, the only clothing identification were dark, whether it be black or blue hoodies. Is so, the suspect considered to be armed at this point? The only thing I for sure know is that they did an armed robbery up in Mount Pleasant. Whether Mount Pleasant has recovered any weapons, whether it be in the vehicle or they recovered one on, on the suspect on the interstate, I don't have those answers yet. At, at this point, I'm going to say that uh, the other suspect has a, has a great potential to be armed and dangerous. What should people in this area be doing right now as additional precautions? Right now, I would make sure that your houses are locked. Check your, your sheds, your garages, if there's anything suspicious. If you see a door open on your barn or something that shouldn't have been left open the night before, call us. We have plenty of personnel out here right now to search the area, to go through, your, go through whatever you feel uh, may be at risk, and we will come out and help. Um, uh, stay vigilant to, to people in your area. At this time, the other suspect, he still could be hunkered down in one of the fields. We still have, we still have the crops still in the fields that could be hiding him. And why the two suspects separated, I don't know. We know that one was trying to get back to Illinois, didn't make it. Uh, we have had a couple calls that were, were trying to locate the other one, but nothing has, has panned out yet. Are you using any canines out there? We had at one point three canines going out there. There are still canines in the area. 
Um, we're putting drones up to see if we can locate locate them in the area and possibly the fields, but again, that, that's very difficult. And uh, one thing that we're, we've really been trying to do is is get a better drone that has FLIR or infrared system on it, and that could have possibly helped us. It, it definitely would have been a tool we would have pulled out last night.